Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah you work that business. Oh, God, I'm recording. Uh, yeah. So, uh, welcome back to Morrowind. Um, last time we beat Dagothur. So now everyone recognizes that I'm the Nerfri. Even this dreamer over here, who is considering joining up with Dagothur. He's pretty depressed right now. I feel kind of sorry for him. But, uh, yeah, so things are a lot better now. There are no more blight storms up on Red Mountain. The ghost fence has been turned off because nobody needs it anymore. And the temple no longer has its false gods. So things are just dandy in Morrowind right now. I think I've done enough. I think I'm just going to spend the rest of my time in Vardenfell just chilling. Just got attacked by a Dark Brotherhood assassin while I was sleeping in an inn. This is getting really old. I think I'm gonna have to take care of it. Okay. It's time to put on the armor. Uh, by the way, check out my house. Put some of the stuff that I've gained from my, uh, exploits here. Got the House Dagoth Cup here. Some of the amulets I got from Dagother. The other various trinkets. Here's my key collection. Not really going to be needing these anymore. Okay, but I have a job to Just uh, squatting here. Okay, so he says that Dark Brotherhood activity in Vardenfell is unheard of. But it's pretty common in the mainland. So. That seems to be. I mean, it makes sense if that's where they're stemming from. So there's a mage in the Grand Council Chambers here that can transport me to the mainland. To this city called Mornhold. And here we are. This is the royal palace of the King of Morwind. But he doesn't really have all the power here. The one with all the power this city is Omalexia. And she has a temple. So a lot more ornate than this imperial palace. So right now you'll notice that the royal throne is empty. That's because somebody 
just recently murdered the High King. Or just the King, I don't, I don't think it's the High King. I'm thinking about Skyrim. Yeah. But we're going to investigate that later. Right now we're focused on the Dark Brotherhood. So let's ask this Royal Guard. He says that I can find the Dark Brotherhood in the sewers beneath a place called the Great Bazaar. So let's check there. If I can get out of the wall. What's going on with the audio? Hang on a sec. Okay, I restarted the game. That seemed to fix it. So what are we doing? Oh yeah. Let's go to the Great Bazaar. Nope, that's not it. This is the Temple of Omalexia. She's one of the members of the Tribunal. Really, the most important one, or the most well-known one, I guess. Her city is a lot bigger than Vivex is. Sewers. Who's this? Okay. It's not very helpful. I wonder if she's with the Dark Brotherhood. Okay, that's a side quest. Um, I don't want to go to another section of the sewers because the guard said that the Dark Brotherhood hang out in the Great Bazaar sewers. So I'm just going to stay in here. It looks like I've explored about every part of this. Yeah, I think I have. Alright, I'll try going this way. Oh, here's a new enemy that Tribunal introduces. You might, rec you might uh, remember seeing him from Daggerfall. It's a witch. And he's a lot less dangerous than he was in Daggerfall.
Uh, they used to be able to just uh, kill you in one hit. But in this game, they just like just kind of throw some weak shock spells at you. Oh, and here's a here's a returning enemy from the first game. They're a lot stronger than they were in Arena. Remember back in Arena, the goblins were only slightly harder to kill than the rats. I think I'm getting close to the Dark Brotherhood hangout. Or am I? I don't know. Maybe not. Oh. No, I've gone that way. Damn it. Here we go. Pardon me for getting lost. I haven't played this quite as much as I've played the base game. I think I've only beaten it once or twice. And here's our old friend, the Dark Brotherhood Assassin. Dagother, after all. I think I can handle a few assassins. Oh, so yeah, I, I didn't mention this city has, um, was built over the old version of the city. So the sewers of Mornhold are just buried ruins of old Mornhold. Try this old manor. Oh shoot, my boots broke again. Let me take care of that real quick. Difficulty were unnormal, I'd be one shotting these guys left and right. Uh, that would be too easy. This guy 
guy seems to be the leader. Oh man, he's got a summon bow. That could be dangerous. Ah. Oh, he's tough. Some bow. Okay, that takes care of the Dark Brotherhood problem. Special dispensation. Friends the lies. So that's my writ of execution. And this guy is the leader of this um, chapter of the Dark Brotherhood. But he's, um, as he died, he said that. He told me to tell his leech that I failed him, so that means he was working on someone else's orders. So the plot thickens. All we know about this person is that their name begins with the letter H. the guards will know more. This, this expansion has really good dungeon design, I think. See much of much like this in the, the base game. I guess the Urshuliku caverns are kind of like this. It's the only thing really comparable. And there's nothing up here. Oh well. So I can I can levitate in this dungeon, but um, you can't really levitate when you're out in public because that's against the law here. Strangely enough, maybe Almalexia can't levitate. It makes her jealous. Uh, yeah, it's really just a added game mechanic that confines the player to the city without having to put a ceiling over it. If you go over the walls of Mordmold, you'll just see a bunch of water. I get out of here. Let's follow the dead bodies. Yeah, that, that's uh, one of the trends that this expansion sets for the rest of the games in the series. The no levitation rule. It also introduces something else. Um, go into the royal palace, there's some doors that you can't go into in the temple to. 
there's some doors that you can't go into, and you can't even use a unlocking spell on them or anything. That that does not happen anywhere else in um, the base game. So that's something new to the expansion. And that also carries over into the newer games, where you have uh, the doors that can't be picked, where you need a key. So the designer is gradually decided to make the game, uh, make the Elder Scrolls games a bit more restrictive to the player, too. Make the experience tighter. Okay. Pedris Flair, Chief Steward of Alex. Okay, so this temple guy know what to do. He might, he might know who H is. See, if you try to levitate, just throws a message that says levitation doesn't work here. I believe the temple is this way. glass armor. So I think he thinks I might be able to serve on Lexia somehow. So there's a new king. His name is Helseth. You might remember him from Daggerfall. So Helseth is raising a, an army of goblins in the sewers. He's, he thinks he's going to use that to protect the city. So I need to kill the goblin war chiefs and their trainers. Okay, I'll take care of that next time, and I'll see you then.